In this lesson, we're going to look at drawing trig graphs again, but this time trig graphs with a plus or minus value at the end. So let's get right and take a look at y equals sine x plus 1. Okay, so let's have a look at this first of all. So when x is 30 in your normal sine wave, you get 0 0.5. So sine of 30 is 0 0.5, but when you're looking at sine of x plus 1, you're doing a sine of 30, which is 0 0.5, but you're adding 1 to it. That just comes out to be 1.5. And it's the same idea with sine 60. If you do sine 60, you get 0 0.866. But if you're doing the sine of x plus 1, and you're adding 1 to this value, so rounded 1.87. And sine 90, you get 1. But the sine of 90 plus 1, then you add 1 to this value. So you would get 2. So if you're thinking what happens to the graph, maybe some of you can imagine that right now. But to make sure we'll draw it out. So we'll plot values of x against sine x plus 1. So what we'll do is copy this table out and then I will go over the answers in a second. So just type the sine 0 into your calculator, add 1. Sine 30, add 1 and so on. Okay, so hopefully that's given you a chance to complete the table. I'll just go over the answers. So the sine of 0 is 0, add 1, you get 1. Sine of 30 is 0 0.5, add 1, you get 1.5 and so on. So you've got all these answers here. Now what you should notice is the highest point in the graph is 2 and the lowest point in the graph is 0. That's changed before it was 1 and minus 1. So if we're plotting this graph, if we look at it down here, instead of starting down here, the sine wave is now starting there at 1. Then it's going to 1.5, then 1.866, and then 2. Then down to 1.866, down to 1.5, then down to 1. 0 0.5, 0 0.134, 0, and then back up again. So if you were to draw a smooth curve through that, it should look like this. So what's actually happened to the sine wave is nothing's really changed except the whole thing's been shifted up one position. We'll look at some more examples just to clarify that idea. The green one in the middle here is the sine wave up to 1 and down to minus 1. If we firstly look at the red example here, now that's sine x plus 2. Now when drawing these waves and thinking about them, we need to think of our five main points again. Where the three where it cuts the x-axis and the highest and the lowest value. And you want to shift these either up or down. So with the plus two at the end, they go up two positions each one. Up two, up two, up two, up two, and up two, and then recreate your new curve. With the sine x minus three, the blue line, again start with the sine x and move your main five points down three positions, down three, down three, down three, and so on and then redraw your new curve. Okay, so let's look at exam some examples of starting from scratch, things that you might see in your book. So the first one, sketch the graph of y equals 3 sine x plus 2. So in order to do this, what I advise you to do is firstly draw 3 sine x, because that's easier to draw. It's sometimes hard to draw all at the same time. So we'll draw 3 sine x, but we'll draw it dotted. So that's a sine wave up to 3. And it goes down to minus 3. Now I've not drawn it dotted here just because of the package I'm using. But in your jota, if you're drawing this, I would draw it dotted. So five main points and then join them up. And you'll get that, a normal sine wave going up to 3 and down to minus 3. Now each of these five points to draw 3 sine x plus 2 needs to be moved up two places. So there, there, there. And you can mark these in. Just mark them in. In your jotter, so here, 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 that one would be up there, and then that would go up two places as well to there. And if you try and draw a smooth curve through here, there's your new graph. So y equals 3 sine x plus 2. Now notice at the side here I extended it up. Now I knew that at the start, I knew it was going up to 3 and it was moving up, so I made my y axis a wee bit higher in order to put in the 5 here, and also the lowest point, which is minus 1. Okay? Right, so the second example. y equals 2 cos x minus 3. Again, the first thing I would do is draw the 2 cos x. So 2 cos x is just a cosine wave. It goes up to 2 and down to minus 2. Mark on your 5 main points. There, 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 
there and there and then just draw that in again try and draw it dotted because it's not your main graph now each of those five main points should then be shifted down three positions so three three this one down three and then so on those two three and then if you join that up on a nice curve you'll get y equals two cos x minus three make sure you label it and it lowers out at minus five and peaks at minus one okay final page here a couple of harder examples so this first one sketch the graph of y equals minus three sine x plus one it's got a minus at the front but the first thing I would do is focus on the 3 sin x. So that's just a normal sine wave that goes to 3 and down to minus 3. However, it's a minus 3x. So that means instead of going up and down and back up, it's going to start going down first. So that's going to look like that. If you put your five main points in, there you get minus 3 sin x. Now remember each of those main points need to be shifted up one position so like that like that every single one five main points moved up i'll just do this one over here because that's off the screen and that should be up there and if you join these up in a smooth remember that first one should be dotted to try and join these up in a solid line there you have y equals minus three sine x plus one and that goes up to four and then it goes down to minus two. Okay, last one to look at. Y equals minus two, sorry, minus one, minus two cos x. Now this looks a wee bit different, but what I'd advise you to do is put the minus one at the end, like that. So it's minus two cos x, minus one. It just makes it a bit easier. You don't need to do that, but I think it's easier. So we've got a minus two cos x. So that's a cosine wave going to 2 and minus 2 but instead of a cosine wave going like this back up it's a minus cos wave so it's starting down here and up like that so that's going to look like this if you plot your five main points and join them up now each of the five main points needs to be shifted down one position so this one down one down one down one down one and down one okay and if you do that you should have your new negative 1 minus 2 cos x. If you put in your minus 3 here, I suppose you could put in a, a 1 there. Okay, I'll see you in the next lesson.